So you've seen all those cool time-lapse movies of stars moving through the sky or sunsets or sunrises and you want to know how to make one. We're going to show you step by step how to get a time-lapse movie. If you want to be doing time-lapse, you need to be in manual mode for the camera. First up, you want to choose your picture size and I generally will choose something that's um, good quality but not too big. So I generally go for JPEG and that's uh, quite a fine quality JPEG, and I go for the smaller size here. Next, you wanna set something on your camera called constant preview. Now, this basically means that the camera's display will show exactly what the photo will look like after you've taken it at the exposure settings that you've got set. So at the moment, the constant preview is off, and you can see now if I change the exposure, for example, I'm going to change uh, the aperture, the preview doesn't change at all. It's just giving me a nice bright image so I can see my subject. Now sometimes that's useful for people to always be able to see the subject, but constant preview is great because it shows you what the photo would look like if you took it with the current exposure settings. So if I set, set that on, on, so if I set the constant preview to on, we can look back here, you can see that the preview is showing us exactly what the ball would look like, what the picture would look like with our settings. So now I can increase my aperture, or sorry, this way, open up the aperture as wide as I can, and uh, it's still not bright enough, so now I might want to increase the exposure using my shutter speed. And now I've got a pretty good exposure there. So you can see if I took a shot now, let me just focus it. If I took a shot now, it looks pretty much like the preview. So this is a great function because if you're taking shots, uh, particularly with long exposures at night, you really want to see what the stars look like or what the sunset looks like um, while you're dialing in the exposure so you don't have to keep constantly taking shots to see if you've exposed it correctly. So with some cameras, you need an extra remote control to plug into camera to tell the camera how many photos to take and for how long. But on the Panasonic GH3, it's right within the camera. So just go into your camera, and in the menu, there is time-lapse shot. I'll click that on. Uh, so you've got the start time, which I set to now. Uh, shooting interval. Now I'm going to take a photo every 10 seconds and you can change this interval like that. Um, and I'm going to take 110 images. All right. So once you finish, just click set and start. Now it says press the shutter to start. So all I have to do is click on the shutter up here and it will start taking photos every 10 seconds. Once you've shot the time lapse, you can actually play it back in camera. Here's a time lapse uh, I did of the northern lights in Iceland shot from within my hotel room. The camera will actually play back the entire sequence. I shot 110 photos there. Seeing the amazing northern lights. Next up, we'll show you how to create a time-lapse movie and bring it into Final Cut X. First, open QuickTime Player 7. Click on File, Open Image Sequence. Click on the folder with all your time-lapse photos. Make sure they're arranged chronologically and select the first picture. Then choose your frame rate. We're going to choose 25 frames per second. Click OK, and there you have it. Your time-lapse is done. Let's play through it to make sure it works. Monkey see, monkey like, monkey do. Banana TV.